Owatosa police officer Joseph Mensa will not face charges in the 2016 shooting death of Jay Anderson after special prosecutors gave that case a second look. They told a judge today they do not believe they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Mensa acted unlawfully. Our Stephanie Haynes talked to the Anderson family about today's decision. The family of Jay Anderson Jr. had their hopes up for almost a year. But once again, they found out that the man who killed their son will not face charges. To tell me that this is just not going to happen again. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping until that man is behind bars where he needs to be. Dozens packed the courtroom Wednesday to hear from special prosecutors, La Crosse County District Attorney Tim Greinke and Milwaukee Attorney Scott Hansen. They focused their investigation on the dash camera video of the shooting. It shows former Wauwatosa police officer Joseph Mensa shoot Jay Anderson Jr., who was previously asleep in his car and Mensa says had reached for a gun. And what they show in that last two seconds before Mensa began firing is Mr. Anderson's hands were raised above his head and then he leaned towards the passenger seat where his gun was located and dropped his hand towards that seat, raised it and then quickly dropped it down again and a third of a second later uh, Mensa began firing. The attorneys put together a 26 page report and explained their findings after Wednesday's hearing. They showed the dash camera video to a diverse focus group of nine potential Milwaukee County jurors, at least six of which said they believe Mensa's actions were reasonable based on jury instructions. The special prosecutors say Mensa declined to interview, but instead sent them written statements in which he maintains he acted in self-defense. Back in the courtroom, Judge Glenn Yamahiro says there's a lot of unanswered questions in the case that will remain a mystery. I continue to believe uh, that this entire tragedy was avoidable. That's a separate and completely distinct question from what is provable beyond a reasonable doubt. In a statement, Mensa's attorney says his client has been cleared of criminal liability in multiple investigations now, and Mensa thanks anyone who is there to support him. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Jay Anderson Jr. was one of three people killed by Joseph Mensa in the line of duty in the last five years. 29-year-old Antonio Gonzalez died in 2015. 17-year-old Alvin Cole died February of 2020 outside Mayfair Mall and prosecutors cleared Mensa in all three cases.